guys, so I'm going to start off by applying my Guerlain uh, Lingerie Depot foundation all over my face. I am in the shade Beige Clear, and I've recently really been loving this foundation. I actually just bought the full size, so I'm super excited about that. But yeah, I'm just going to be applying that all over my face using my damp beauty sponge. set my foundation I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals Original SPF powder foundation and I am in the shade medium beige and I really love using this as a um, setting powder because I feel like it gives you a little bit of extra coverage which is great. For my concealer I'm actually going to first uh, use this red Revlon um, lipstick which is kind of weird but it's been a new thing lately um, and it's supposed to really get rid of all like the darkness on your dark circles so I tried it out for the first time in this video and I actually really like the results I got. Just I'm alone, you're dead to your own Because I applied the red lipstick a little bit heavy-handedly, I'm just using my beauty blender to blend it out even more, and then I'm going in with my MAC Mineralize Concealer in the shade NW20 and like going through with my typical concealer routine. more coverage on my eyes so I just went in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I believe that this is in the shade Custard. Okay, so to set my under eyes, I'm just using my Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil um, to cover all of the areas that I put concealer. For my eyebrows, I'm just first combing through them using this spoolie brush by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills and then in a second you will see that I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and I am in the shade Dark Brown and I just use a small like angled brush just to shape them and apply the product. I'm just using this translucent uh, Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. Moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to take the shade Noble from the Kat Von D Mavita Loca palette and I'm just going to blend it all over like the upper part of my eye and into my crease. Then I'm going to be taking the shade Rewind, also from the Mavita Loca palette, and just blending that into the crease and also mixing it in with the shade that we just put on. Then going in with this bright orange shade called Analog, I'm just placing that right at the crease and trying not to blend it too far up or too far down. And then I'm going in with a blending brush and just keeping it right at the crease just to blend out any harsh lines that may have been there. Then going in with this shade called Harpsichord, I'm taking it on a damp shader brush and keeping it right at my eyelid, not blending it too far up into the crease. Um, I just really wanted the pigment to be strong, so that's why I used a wet brush to apply it. Going 
going back with the shade Rewind and taking it on the same blending brush from before and blending it all over like the eye just to get rid of any harsh lines and everything like that. And then I'm going in with this Urban Decay Stargazer eyeshadow and I'm also applying that with a damp brush that I wet with Fix Plus and placing it right on the center of my eyelid just to add some more sparkle and just like a nice highlight to the center of the lid. Going back in with the same color harpsichord, I'm taking it on the same shader brush that I used to apply Stargazer, and I'm just going to be blending the two shades together. Going back again with the same blender brush, I'm just going to be blending the whole look together to get rid of any harsh lines, and then because I wanted it to be even deeper, I took the shade Rewind on the same blending brush and just blended it even more into the crease and on my eye. And then I went back in with a short shader brush using the shade Rewind again, and I just blended it into my lower lash line. And then using this tiny pencil brush, I'm taking the shade um, Harpsichord and blending it into the shade Rewind on my lower lash line. For eyeliner, I'm using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper, and I'm just creating a um, wing, and I'm also going to be bringing that wing down into the lower lash line, as you will see in a second. But I'm just doing my basic eyeliner and then just making it more dramatic by bringing it into the lower lash line. Then to darken up the look even more, I'm using my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil, and this is in the shade Perversion, and I'm blending that on to my lower waterline, and then I'm also going to be placing that on my upper waterline, just to add even more definition. For mascara, I'm using my brand new favorite trio, and I'm first just going to go in with my Sephora Outrageous Curl Mascara, and then after that, I'm going to go in with my Le Volume de Chanel Mascara, and then to set all that, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara in the Waterproof Formula. And that is the finished eye look. Moving on to contouring, I'm using my Kat Von D like shade and light palette and I'm taking the second lightest color or second darkest color in the palette and just blending that on my cheekbones. Then to deepen up the contour even more, I took the darkest shade in the palette and placed that like right in the hollow of my cheek and then blended it out. Then to sculpt my non-existent jawline, I just took the two shades that I use for contouring and just shaped my jawline and then added it to the temples of my cheeks also. To contour my nose, I'm taking this short little like uh, pencil blending brush thing and I'm just blending the second darkest color in the shade and light palette onto my nose. Of all the beggars, men the cue to be the next. For highlight, I'm going in with my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal and applying that to the tops of my cheekbones, on my nose, and on my cupid's bow. For blush, I'm going in with my NARS Dual Intensity Blush in the shade Fervor and I'm just blending that onto my cheeks. Moving on to lips, I'm using my MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Chicory and just aligning my lips.
For lipstick, I'm using my Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Raisin Rage, and I'm just placing that all over my lips. So guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!